good initiatives which have been suggested here. Uh, Mr. Ravi Uppal uh, from JSPL is joining us uh, from uh, you know our CIA setup. Mr. Uppal, thanks very much. Uh, your first reaction to the budget, sir? Well, on the whole, the budget is uh, very positive. I, it's one of the most comprehensive budget presentation I've ever heard, in which uh, you know the finance minister has uh, touched almost every sector of uh, activity, be it economic or non-economic activity. And I think you know it's, it was almost like uh, revisiting the the um, the poll uh, manifesto that they had, and he wanted to show that he has not forgotten any uh, segment of the economy, and whether it was about the initiatives on the on the in the rural segment of the economy, whether whether it's by way of uh, in uh, developing the skills, uh, you know, also you know the the things they were doing within the infrastructure segment. So, whether sports, airports, uh, waterways, uh, navigation, uh, you know, almost, uh, you know, power generation, industry. So, I think he visited almost every segment, and uh, he had some good proposals. Of course, one has to keep in mind that uh, it's just about six weeks since they came into power, so they obviously cannot go into more granularity. But the intention is very clear; that they intend to sort of, uh, you know, inject vitality into every se sector of activity. Yes. And uh, he in particular Uppal, has but anything, anything specific, anything specific for your sector, for your company, for your industry, which stood out in terms of announcement. Well, yes, uh, you know, for the power sector, he has some good news. Uh, you know, for example, he he said that all the units, power units, which will get commissioned by 31st of March, he has assured them the coal supply. And the second is that they have extended the uh, tax holiday for all the power units up to 31st of March 2017. So I think these are two major steps that he announced uh, which are of direct uh, relevance to us within the power industry. And as far as steel is concerned, there again, uh, you know, the duty has been br brought down on certain items like uh, anthracite, uh, cocaine coal uh, and limestone, which will once again sort of benefit the steel industry because all these materials are getting imported. And uh, I think his uh, initiative to correct the inverted duty structure was very much in order. So I think, you know, the different sectors of uh, economy, including power industry, both of them will benefit from this. Right. Now on this, on the, on the coal changes, right, I think he's uh, said one duty for all uh, types of coal. I don't know if I got that right. Yeah. Yeah. So how, what difference does that, what does, difference does that make? Uh, he, he's also said, I, I know royalty rates will be changed. Uh, yeah, well, you know, the one, one duty for all of them because there are so many disputes which come up because the grade of coal are very close to each other and, and sometimes, you know, the custom, you know, officers at the port, they dispute the category that you announce. Yes. So by having a single rate applicable to all, uh, we are trying to homogenize it and also ensure a speedy clearance uh, at the ports. And he's also changed, uh, Mr. Opal, uh, on, on your steel business, he's also changed some customs duty, right? Flat road products. Uh, sorry, come again. I, uh, I on on flat road steel, I think the customs uh, duty has has been changed. No, the, the duty has not been changed there. Uh, they have basically talked about the raw materials and components which are used for manufacturing. They haven't talked about uh, any finished products, in as much as I know. Okay. No. What uh, we have here is that uh, customs on flat road steel products has been. Increased from five to seven and a half percent, but we'll confirm that. But if if, if the duty has been increased uh, on the you know, on the, uh, the import duty has been increased on the flat products, uh, that of course is welcome, because that will really sort of uh, shield uh, the local industry from cheap imports from uh, yes. you know the other countries like China and uh, and that. Korea. So. So that. if the duty has been sort of changed uh, for, from 5 to 7.5%, uh, then of course it is something which would really be welcomed by the local industry. Mr. Opal, thanks very much, sir. Quick take. Appreciate you joining in uh, from uh, uh, CII. Uh, Sanjeev Aga has been, of course, listening to the budget as well. Mr. Aga, uh, first take from you, sir. Uh, so did it really grab your attention? Uh, would, how would you describe this budget? That was a problem, uh, Prashant. Uh, it was a very long and a very tedious speech. It was very badly written.